hello queens welcome back so i have another natural hair tutorial for you guys today and we're going to be using several products and a couple of them i'm actually revisiting so as you guys can see i've already detangled my hair and my hair is divided into four sections two side sections one in the top center part and then the back half of my head is actually going to be one full section by itself so yeah i had to go ahead and detangle it and it was a lot of work you guys the first product that we will be using is the Eden Body Works Natural Curl Defining Cream. This is a holy grail. When I first went natural, even when I was transitioning, this was the only curl defining cream that I was using. So I decided to share this here with you guys today as I recreated this look that I saw on Instagram. And I'll insert a picture somewhere throughout the video to show you guys the original style. But um, I'm kind of freestyling here. So first what we're going to do is just pretty much on the front side center section we are going to make sure that we divide that into like four even sections to create flat twists they don't have to be perfect but you need to make sure that they have the same amount of hair per flat twist once we section that away we're going to just start working on this section that's left out and i'm just showing you guys how i parted it so you're going to use about a dime to a quarter size amount of curl defining cream it's really all up to you. For me personally, I didn't want my hair super damp. I just wanted it product damp. Um, hence the reason why I went on ahead and detangled off camera just using water. So I'm going to further detangle using my Texture Pro detangling brush. You guys know I love this brush. I'm just gonna make sure that the product is worked in and then we are going to begin flat twisting. So pretty much how I create my flat twist is I just slide my finger under once and then I slide my finger under again to wrap the original strand underneath the new hair strand. And then that's what you're gonna do. Just keep wrapping the loose strand under the new strand that you're pretty much separating with your index finger. And you're just gonna loop it around the other strand of hair. I hope that makes sense, you guys. Once you get near the ends, you're going to want to apply a little bit more product just to make sure that you actually do have the definition that you are definitely going to want for this particular hairstyle because we're pretty much creating a faux bang. Um, and yeah, so you just want to make sure you two strand twist all the way to the ends. Again, make sure that you have product on there so that way you can get the definition that you are seeking. And then I'm just going to continue this process throughout the remaining top middle section that's going to give us that bang. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I finished the rest of that of the rest of that section, you guys. And yeah, you can see it's very shiny, it's bouncy, and the curl defining cream from Eden Body Works is definitely a product that you would want to have a part of your holy grail stash. I would recommend this for anybody who's wanting to go natural as well as transitioning. So now we're going to move on to the back to start creating our bun. And you guys, again, I'm just freestyling and I'm just going to take that down and begin separating the two strand twists that I have in the back. I pretty much left my hair like that so that way it can remain stretched, which is pretty much what you want. You want your hair to be as stretched as possible so that way you can get the desired style that you are aiming for. And I'm just going to simply work all that back into one pretty much ponytail. So we're gonna use some of the Cantu Natural Hair Extra Hole Edge Control, the Allocate Naturals Aloe Berry Styling Gel, and some more of the Curl Defining Cream from Eden Body Works. If you guys are interested in a full review of my um, Aloe Berry Gel from Allocate Naturals, I'll link the card up above and I'll list it down below so that way you guys can see that review. And so we're simply working the gel on top of the hair. I just really wanted to just kind of have my hair smooth. I really wasn't worried if it had some kind of curl to it, but we just want to make sure that it's smoothed down. And then you're going to take a comb and just make sure you further detangle. And then this is pretty much where I wanted to actually have my bun where my left hand is holding the hair. We're going to take some of the edge control and just apply some very lightly to help add a little bit more hold. You guys, the whole purpose of me layering, layering these products on is because I didn't want a lot of product. So <laughs> we're just simply going to work that in by using a brush. And again, I'm brushing lightly, not heavy. Just working the edge control in to smooth the hair down. And then I'm going to secure my little ponytail with two free um, of the middle class elastic band. 
into a ponytail and I think I wrapped this around about three or four times but I really wanted to make sure that the ponytail didn't move anywhere. Alright, so once you have your ponytail secured, you're going to split the hair into two even sections and lightly pull the hair to pretty much make sure that it, the ponytail itself is secure to your head. And then we're going to take one section, make sure it's detangled, and take some more of the curl defining cream. I used it mainly just to make sure that the hair remained smooth while in the actual bun. And then once we work this in, I'm just going to further detangle using my Texture Pro detangling brush. And then I'm going to begin creating just a very loose but somewhat uniform two strand twist. All right, so this is what it looks like. And as again, like I stated, I just want it to be pretty loose, but actual uniform as well. So once you've done that same step to the other half, you're gonna just take one end and lightly, well, I should say loosely wrap it around. And then you're gonna secure it with the bobby pin. And then you're just gonna repeat the same process with the other two strand twist that's left out. But I should have wrapped the end around the other way so the bun could have been a little bit bigger as a round ball. <laughs> so I don't know why I did it the opposite direction, you guys, but I did. But again, I'm just freestyling. You can do it the way that you want to, or you can do it the way that I'm doing. Um, that's the whole fun of natural hair. You just style your hair the way that you want it to. And so here's a side view. I was so proud. <laughs> so now we're moving on to the front. Um, and pretty much we're just going to create more flat twists, but in the opposite direction. And then once you've actually done that, you're just going to take the ends of that flat twist and wrap it around your bun in the back. So we're going to use some more of the curl defining cream and make sure that you work that in all the way. You don't want the product to just sit on top of the hair. And then we're going to create our flat twist. Again, I did use more of the Cantu Extra Hold Edge Control. And then, um, of course, around my edges, I was pretty light on how tight I actually had the flat twist. Because as you guys can see, this is the side that's a little bit thinner. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't create a lot of tension on this flat twist. And then once you get to the ends, you're going to wrap it around the finger to make sure that it's coiled. And then I'm simply going to take the end of this flat twist and secure it around the bun. Take another bobby pin and then secure it in place. so this is what it looks like after we have done the whole front and the back and then we're just going to simply let this set overnight and then the following morning we will take it down all right so it's the next morning and i'm simply just showing you guys what my hair looks like once it's fully dried yes my bun did stay in place thank you jesus <laughs> Okay, so this is what my hair looks like the next morning. It looks really, really nice. Everything's laid down, really uniform, and we're just gonna start taking down the front. And you're gonna notice that it's a single strand of hair that pretty much holds both twists together. That's the piece of hair that you wanna find to help unravel the flat twist. And then you're simply gonna to continue to repeat this process on the remaining three flat twists that are at the front that's gonna create the faux bang.
All right, so once you take everything down, this is what the front is going to look like. And I'm just gonna pretty much use a bobby pin to secure it in place, but later on throughout the day, I did remove the bobby pin because it really wasn't working. So yeah, so you just pretty much fluff and style the way that you, the way that you would like to create the bang. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Again, I did see this look listed on Instagram, and I will definitely post a picture at the end of this video showing you guys the original picture. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the little bell for your notifications and leave me a comment down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one be blessed